Good morning. 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 I hope you guys are ready and raring to go. Today is on teamwork. 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 You guys, there's nothing like it. So come on in the room. Mm -hmm. Come on. Good morning, daughter. In the room. Cause Jesus is my doctor and he writes out all of my prescriptions and he gives me all of my medicine in the room. Good morning, Zandra. Say, come on in the room. Mm, come on in the room. Cause Jesus is my doctor And he writes out all of my prescriptions And he gives me all of my medicine In the room This is the medicine, you guys Come on in the room <laughs> Where's Danny? Where's Danny at? Uh, <laughs> Katrina. <laughs> oh my, praise the Lord, everybody. Kingdom blessings to you. I hope you guys are excited yet. Yeah, it is Friday. Lord knows in this week, as busy as I have been more mentally than physically, I tell you what, I'm so glad today is Friday. I have one of those thank God it's Friday moments. <laughs> so you guys, I pray you guys are well, you are prosperous, amen. And I pray more than anything, you guys are truly being a team member because that's what it's going to take during times like these, especially during this COVID time. Uh, times are really um, difficult. Amen. But praise God, we are team members, one for the other, and that's what we're going to. <laughs> that's what we're going to look at. Praise God about us being team members. Amen. So I'm gonna walk in i came over to another facility um and i'm gonna walk in i'm gonna grab the phone but before we do that we are going to pray father god we give you thanks thank you this morning for waking us up thank you for getting us started on our way thank you for our health our body our strength thank you for our families and our loved ones god thank you lord god for thinking enough of us to wake us up this morning and to show us your love not just tell us but you're creating an action because we woke up this morning we also realize god that you gave us breath in our lungs hallelujah you gave us the ability to move freely in the name of jesus and father I declare and I decree over every person that watches this video, God, that their day will be greater than yesterday, that today will they can look back over their former and realize that you have taken them to another realm, to another dimension, to another mindset, to another capability, and to another ability. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that freedom will be theirs in the spirit as well as in the natural. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I declare that God they walk in victory they are triumphant because they are children of the utmost God they are the kingdom kids they are the royal priesthood they recognize who they are and they walk in their authority father God I declare and I decree on today they will begin to tear down the walls of, of selfishness they will tear down the walls of just being by themselves they will tear down the walls oh God of listening to those who refuse to tell them what the word of God truly says about them and according to your word and to your will we are oh God we are the kingdom we are of the most highs children Father, and I declare that they recognize who and whose they are. I thank you now in the name of Jesus. We bind every hand, every exercise, every force, every thought, every um, opportunity that the enemy, the enemy may use against us. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus against it right now. 
Oh, Kamaro Osh Itana. Kadaba Ora Ali Etonosho. God, we thank you and we count it victorious. We plead the blood of Jesus against everything unlike you. God, and we reverse every curse and send it back to the sender. In the name of Jesus, this is the day. This is the year, God, that we shall see the greater and look back on our former and realize that God has brought us this far. And greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. And so then, as you said on the cross, it is finished. And as you spoke it and the world became, so then does our world, our words now form our today and our future. In the name of Jesus, we are blessed. Amen and amen. Come on in the room, y'all. Y'all, come on in the room, dog. On it. I feel like I'm ready to preach this morning. Lord Jesus, let me go on in here and at least get this thing started. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. I hope y'all are ready this morning. We're not going to take long. Amen. We're going to just go through. Good morning, Brady. We're going to go through. Amen. And we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about teamwork. Um, and as you guys saw, what I what I sent on this morning was for you guys to let me put it down here in the comments because I think that will be helpful to you guys. Amen. Um, try and remember how to do the comments. I do everything else except. Uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. OK, I don't know how to put a comment in here, y'all. Oh, OK, now I see oh, it was over in the corner. It was over in the corner. I want to make sure you guys got this. I want to read this to you guys because this is important when you're talking about having effective teamwork. You know, when you're looking at 1 Corinthians 12 and 14, it's basically saying that we as the Christian children, men and women of God, we have to have a spirit of excellence. And that spirit of excellence is going to have to also show that we are, uh, we are, we are pushing to really excel beyond the norm. We're looking and we are pushing to exceed beyond the norm. That does mean that the expectations of some may not be the same as the ones that are expected of us. In fact, we should expect of ourselves greater than what we expect of other people, amen? <clears throat> so what are you saying this morning, Lady Diamond? What I am saying this morning is if you believe that you have given your heart to the Lord, if you have not before and you believe that you have now given your heart to the Lord and you are walking in the word according to the word, the best as you know how within your ability, you are pressing for the mark for the prize of the high calling and you are looking. <clears throat> there we go. You are looking. Good morning. How are you? <clears throat> You are looking to, to do exceedingly and abundantly and above all else. You are looking to do the things that God has called us to do as men and women of God. Then it is you that I am speaking about. It is you that I am speaking about. So what I am also saying here is this. Praise God. Welcome. I see you guys coming in. I want to put that down there. What I am saying is this. As a... <clears throat> yesterday, we talked about strategic. We talked about strategic. Uh, being a strategic person. Amen. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. We talked about strategic. This thing does it every time. Sorry about that. Um, we talked about strategically coming together as the saints of God and talking about how we are to be effective one and to the other. But today, I want you guys to now really focus in on being, um, how are we going to work together in teamwork? When the word of God in Corinthians is talking, I know, like I broke into my own car. Um, when the word of God is talking about teamwork, 
It's talking about how we are to work together in unity. One, meaning unison and working as a well-oiled machine. What does that mean? That means that we are supposed to be working for the same vision, in the same direction, with the same goal, and the same purpose according to the word of God. That means you got to put your beatitudes in check. That means you got to put not just your beatitudes, but you also got to put, amen, your mind in check. You, you, The Bible says we have to be on one mind, on one accord, amen. So if we're with one mind and with one accord, then that means that we are strategically planning so that we can be effective together. And the Bible lets us know we are we are better and we are greater when there when there's more numbers, amen. Better and greater when there are more numbers. When we increase and we come together as one in one unison, the word of God lets us know that we can get more done and be more effective in that way rather than if we say, Well, you know what, she made me mad today, so I'm not even gonna listen. I'm going to tell you, those who are close to me knows that I'm going to say to them, listen, I'm about my business. And when it comes to the word of God, I'm truly about my business. It doesn't mean that it doesn't, I don't have time for anyone else. Good morning, Charlene. Praise God. It doesn't mean that I don't have time to do other thing else, but my mind ought to be set on the principles and the kingdom of God. If our mind is not set on the principles and the kingdom of God, we've already lost our footing. Amen. We've lost our footing because it means everything. When the Bible says that we ought to acknowledge God again, as I continue to say, acknowledge God in all of your ways so that God can help direct our paths. Listen, if we go off and do things on our own, we're going to end up like the prodigal son. Nevertheless, when we come together in unison, amen, let's just take this. I'm going to give you all two examples in the word of God. For the teamwork, you had the people who worked well together. They were an oil, well oil machine, and they were building the Tower of Babel. And honey, they got that thing all the way up in the sky. But the only reason why they weren't successful is because, yes, they came together on one accord. And they came together with one mind. But their purpose for doing it was wrong. You can't say that you're doing God's business and defile it. It's just not possible. You cannot go in the house of God, or which is the people of God. You cannot go amongst them and think that God is going to allow you to consistently be a... a, a be you're, you're not going to be able to go in and consistently uh, be approved for negative and bad behavior and think that God is not going to at some point chastise you. If you think that, oh, I got away with it, baby. You're not doing nothing but fooling yourself. Let me explain something. Before you knew it. God said, okay, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and think y'all going to get this. Go ahead and build your tower and everything. And the next thing you know, they got almost to where they wanted to be. And then boom, what happened? God confused them. See, <laughs> the Bible tells us that we have the opportunity and the ability to do the same thing in our life. Confuse the adversary. Confuse him with the word of God. Confuse him by coming together in unity. Confuse him by taking the word of God and using it against him. Use the word of God to confuse the enemy. Are y'all hearing me? Praise God. How I feel like running. Y'all, y'all know how I get now. Praise God. I get excited. But I'm telling you guys, when you come together in unity, it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And if in your house during this time, I know that some people don't want to leave some people don't want other people at their houses some people and i understand all of it trust me i told y'all i got a whole heap of look let me show you i got a whole heap of opportunities <laughs> for everybody name colors all kinds styles and everything else why because if somebody wants to come if I need to give them the word of God and they say I don't have a mask, well, baby, I keep plenty so I can give them out. 
because the word of God has still got to go forward. Listen, the house of God, the four walls may be shut down. Teamwork. God is still looking for us to be team workers. It doesn't mean that because we can't go into the church, we still can't work together as a team. I can be in one country, you can be in another. You can be in New York, I can be in Washington, D.C., and the rest of y'all can be all over the rest of the 51 states of the United States. Why do I say 51? Because of Hawaii. <clears throat> yes. If we work together, the Bible tells us all things work together. Again, that same teamwork. When the Lord is doing something as a team, it works and it blesses us tremendously in a different kind of a way. But in this wise, God is telling us that we have got to do the work. And if we do the work, then it will. Whatever we're doing will work together for us because now our purpose is is pure our purpose is right it's done in righteousness and holiness is done with the heart of God and is done with a purpose to be a blessing to one another and not just yourself amen so when you have that time when you take that purpose when you take that kind of constructive time that is what God looks to get, looks at and that's when it comes together and it works together for the good for them who love God and are called according to his purpose not your own you get it you can have a vision and you can have a purpose in your vision but all of that has to sit and rest within what God's purpose and vision is in your life did y'all understand that all right I pray today that you guys will actually Take that strategy, that teamwork in mind, in your own houses. <clears throat> if you know somebody who has COVID, call them. If you, if you have food in your house and they don't, go and take one of your plastic bags that you have. Take two or three cans. I didn't say take a whole lot. I'm just trying to teach you how to do things as a teamwork, as, a, um, as team members. Take two or three cans. Put zip, you know, wrap the uh, bag up, tie it just a little bit, just once, not in a knot, because not all old people, not all young people have the strength in their hands. Take that, close it up, sit it on their door, put on some gloves, knock on the door, and leave. Call them if you don't want to knock. Call them ahead of time. Let them know you just sat some food outside of their door. Be a blessing. You understand what I'm saying? During this time, you want to see the hand of God move in your life. Baby, you better learn that there is a gift in giving. A lot of people don't want to give, but they want to receive. But at this point, God is saying, listen, show me. Don't just talk to me. Show me that you truly want to give. Give and it shall be given back to you. Press down. Shake it up. Run it over. If you want to see your blessings double over, give I dare you to give look I've been sending some of you guys even uh, I think Katrina I think I sent it to you if I didn't daughter it's okay I will send it to you but even in this time in our Susu I praise God for these people I praise God for these leaders I praise God for these people with integrity praise God oh my I was up until 12 o'clock midnight last night and they were like, how can we get in your susu? And I told them because I kept saying, God, listen, I don't have all the money in the world. But if I can teach the people to fish, if I can teach them to fish, if we can be team members, if we can work together, we can accomplish some things. And I had people... <clears throat> asking me how do we get in your susu because we got the ambassadors we got the judges we got um the doctors we got other mostly it's the church members because what we did as leaders we came together and we said hold on a minute we got people suffering out here can't pay their bills can't do anything how can god how can we be a blessing and we had to take that and be wise. And we've done a couple of things. And some of you have used this and some of you haven't. We put jobs out. I, I listed a hundred work from home jobs on my Facebook page in March alone. Some of you took them. Some of you did not. Some of you thought this COVID was not going to run rampant like it was, but it did. And yet we saw how many lives were just being taken. <clears throat> now... I turned around and I said, okay, let me put free training out there. 
I put the free training out there. See, I'm making sure that I'm being a team member. I'm going to work whether or not if everybody do it, it doesn't matter. The point is, if God gave it to me, he gave it to me so that I can be a blessing to all of you. Now, it's not, it's not for everybody to go out and be a contact tracer. But if you're at home and you're saying, God, you know, I need a job, Lord, if you would just bless me. Well, he keep giving you avenues to be blessed. But baby, there's an action that goes along with your very words. You've got to do the work. You've got, I gave you the training for free. It's on my page. Go back and look for it. It's not, it's not every time that somebody's got to do the work for you. You want me to give you the training and do the certification for you? Mm -mm, not going to happen. It's for you to do the work. There was a hundred jobs, like I said in March, that I posted all work from home. You have to do the research. You got to go and get your resume together. You got to go and do the things that are necessary in order for people to know that you exist. The second thing is I gave you the training for a new job. The training was free. Everywhere you turn around, you looking for contact tracers. People are there. Amen. All you got to do is go and take the training. It's left up to you. Third thing, I now told you guys where to go and find the jobs for the contact tracing because they're looking for people immediately. Aside from that, four, now I even told some of you about the SUSU that we're, we're limiting. <laughs> we are limiting the people. We're limiting the type of integrity of people that we're accepting even in the group because again, we don't want anybody, let me tell you, we don't, I don't want anybody in the group that don't have pure integrity. I don't, I don't care if you got $5,000 and you want to put it in the susu, it's not going to work because again, this is not a tower of Babel. We are not trying to build a bunch of everything and people without integrity that don't know how to talk to one another, don't know how to work with one another that is being, you know, evil in their minds. I don't want it. It's not worth it and it's not worth the headache. What I'm looking for are for those with integrity, amen, that is coming in to be their brother and their sister's keeper. If you're not here for that, you don't want to join, not with us. Because we're not saying, oh, you got to come in with two people. You got to have it. No. What we're saying is, sis, Bro, if you don't have it, continue to look for it. That's okay, but come in. And when you come in, praise God, what we want to do is we'll help you to find the people that you need to have. That is teamwork. That is what real teamwork really is. This is not about, okay, well, you are on your own. The devil is a lie. Listen, when you're talking about Christians coming together, trying to be a blessing to somebody, then be a total blessing. Don't come in and say, well, you know, well, if you ain't got nobody, then you can't be a part of this group. The devil is a lie. Are you serious? This is where you come together and you say, you know what? Even though I don't have anybody, this is what we're going to do. Praise God. We're going to work together. We're going to help to find other people to come in so that your house, you can have your bills paid. You can, this is what teamwork does. And I can tell y'all, I'll be more than glad to post our conversations to show y'all that we're serious about this thing. Already in two months, almost $300,000 we have given out to 700 people. We're serious about it. And I'm not trying to convince nobody. I'm not here to convince anybody. I'm not asking anybody even to join. If that's what you'd like to do, so be it. That's no problem. But what I am showing you is teamwork. What works when you have effective people working together with one mind, one accord with the purpose of kingdom, not for the purpose of selfishness. 700 people who have been blessed consistently every month for the past two, two months, 300,000. Let me give you specifically $278,000 to be specific. $278,500. That is specific. That is specific. So when you're talking about if y'all end up, let me, let me help y'all. If you end up um, going into a susu and they're not there to be kingdom minded, they're not there to be a blessing to you. You already walked in the wrong door. And it doesn't mean that everybody's team is that way. It just means that some people's teams are like that. And everybody who prejudges and don't know, don't understand, 
You should check yourself because you can't talk about everybody's team. You can only talk about the team that you've been on that was not successful. But we consistently remain successful because we're not allowing riffraff into the team. We're not allowing those who are coming in and only being selfish to look out for themselves. Eventually, everybody has to bring in too. Eventually. Yes, we're keeping tabs. Yes, we're, but this is what teamwork does. We don't have the mindset of building the Tower of Babel. We're not trying to rush things along. We're, t we're not trying to push people into things they don't want to do. In fact, we're doing just the opposite. We are our brother's keeper. We know that people are out here, they are hurting. They need food. They need clothing. They need money, finances. I can tell you about kingdom all day long. But if I don't help you to fish successfully as a leader, I'm not really doing all that I can do. And I urge you leaders who may watch this, go beyond what you are doing in the house of God and start your susus. And the same way we are working effectively as a kingdom minded person with kingdom-minded principles, kingdom-minded people with kingdom-minded principles, men and women of God, I'm asking you to work together in teamwork so that everybody can eat. Not everybody has to be without food and without paying their bills and then they're going homeless because they're losing their homes. This is where effective teamwork comes in. Y'all be a blessing to one another. This is Lady Diamond. I've given y'all great word. Y'all be blessed. Walk in total victory. Walk in love for one another. Don't just think about yourself. Think about your brethren. The Bible says, am I my brother's keeper? Let that rest in you today. Like I said, if it's nothing more than giving a couple of cans <clears throat> of food to a neighbor who doesn't have it, give it to them. It's better to give than it is to receive, especially in this moment. You guys continue to walk in victory, walk in love. Amen. This is Lady Diamond, and I'm signing out. Be blessed.